Hotep. My name is Imaku Mutshekamet. I'm a 30-year veteran in the business of performing. I have been celebrating our culture through storytelling, through drumming and various other instruments, and uh, through song for quite some time now. And it is my pleasure to bring this type of performance not only to children but also to adults who actually find somewhere in the performance that they are actually our children at heart. I have children. Guess how old they are? Nine. Twenty. Twenty. Eight. I hear eight. I hear twelve. My children are twenty-four and twenty-five. I, you're the closest. I celebrate all of the African tradition. So that means I do stories and music from Africa, from African American tradition, from the Caribbean tradition, okay? Really, for any instruments that you see anybody else has, okay? Uh, do you want to be playing instruments here? What do you play? The drum. You play the drum too? Okay, what do you play? You play something else besides drums. What do you play? African drum. You play African drum, okay. Anybody play trumpet? Oh my, my dad. My dad. Who plays the flute? Okay. <coughs> Clarinet? Okay, now, I want you to just imagine something. Imagine that someone, or you, you've just finished practicing your flute. Okay, I used, to, I, I used to play the flute. Okay, I played the flute, the saxophone, the well, the guitar, and a few others just besides. But imagine somebody grabs your flute and picks it up and just starts playing it. How does that make you feel? Mad, angry. Yeah, why? Because it's yours. Because it's yours. Yeah, okay. So you have to respect the fact that it belongs to somebody else, but it goes even further than that. When you're dealing with African instruments, you respect the spirit that is in the drum because it's believed that spirits live in trees, okay? And so that spirit is brought with it into the drum. So you have your sort of respect to the spirit in the drum and also to the person playing the drum. So many, there are thousands and thousands of drum rhythms. And I decide how I want to tell it, okay? Do you know that every single culture that is on this planet, whether it's a Japanese, Chinese, uh, Native American, African, African American culture has their own version of the Cinderella story? You believe that? Yes. Because see, here's what, what happens. You know how it is like when you, somebody tells you something? They tell you a story about somebody, right? Then you go and you tell somebody, okay? The story might change a little bit because you might remember it a little bit differently, or you might have thought that the way the person told it was a little bit boring, okay? So you change it a little bit. Then the next person, they thought the story was so good that they go and they tell somebody else. And then somebody else and somebody else. And do you think the story stays the same? Yeah. No. Not at all. The same basic story is there, but there are all these different little things that change it. Well, a storyteller does the same thing. They decide when they hear a good story how it is that they want to tell it. <coughs> Hold on to your power. Never forget who you truly are. Remember what you are worth. Let me tell you this story about a man named Day Day. Well, now let me tell you. Day Day, growing up, he was the kind of kid where, you know folks who cheat in school? Yeah. Okay? But they cut, somehow they get away with it. You work hard and you see somebody else who's cheating and they, somehow they get away with it. Get somebody else to do the chores for them. Lazy. That was Day Day. How many of you know Day Days? He got every single one of them to do his chores for him. Mm -hmm. Who ever heard of people living in the river? <laughs> Guppy gal. <laughs> As the house flew up in the air and followed the water woman down to the river. Every single thing that Daddy had gotten with her followed her down to the river. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me, oh, pick me, pick me. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. Come on up. In the back, come on up. Now, the other drum that I showed you, the djembe, had one head. 
Okay, and it had a hole underneath. This has two. Okay, this has cow skin. Now, some of you are talking about, ew. Well, a lot of you have leather straps or leather shoes. Leather is from a cow. Okay, but this is made of clay. Can you see that? Remember your own. 